it. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Hi, everyone. We're in the middle of a great month here at Crossroads as we talk about forgiveness. Do you remember what forgiveness means? Forgiveness means deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Maybe forgiveness might seem like a small thing, but forgiveness is actually a very big deal. The good news is that God is there to help us. We know what it means to forgive because we know how God has forgiven us. You know, this makes me think of when my younger sister and I used to fight, like all the time. But one time we were fighting about who would get to ride in shotgun. You know, the front seat of the car. We pushed and shoved each other trying to get there. But before we get into the rest of the story, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out our other fun videos. Now, as you might know, we've been journeying through God's big story over the past few months. All the way back in the beginning with Adam and Eve, God had a plan for the world. God promised to bless the whole world through the family of Abraham. When the time is right, God sent Jesus to be born in Bethlehem. Now, we're looking at the life of Jesus, the way Jesus taught people about God, the way Jesus treated people with love and compassion. Today, we'll get to meet one of those people whose lives was changed by Jesus in a big way. His name is Zacchaeus. One day, Jesus entered a town called Jericho. A man named Zacchaeus lived there. Zacchaeus had a job that made him very unpopular with the rest of the people. He was a chief tax collector. People didn't like tax collectors like Zacchaeus for two main reasons. Number one, these tax collectors worked for the Romans who were ruling over the Jewish people at the time. And number two, the Romans forced the tax collectors to take extra money than the people owed to pay them for the work. But some tax collectors took even more money for themselves so they could get rich. For example, let's say the amount of money to be collected was $10. A tax collector like Zacchaeus might tell people that they owed $20 and then keep the extra $10 for himself. Even if that $10 was way more than what was needed to pay his salary. Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. Maybe he had heard about Jesus and wanted to join the crowds to catch a glimpse of him. One problem though, Zacchaeus was a short man. In fact, he was so short, he couldn't see over the crowd. Okay, let's watch this video to learn a little bit more about Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he, really little. He climbed up in a sycamore tree, for the Lord he wanted to see, hello. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. Yes, I'm going to your house today. <laughs> hey, what's with the Egyptian thing? <laughs> Here we go, one more time. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. Very tiny. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. <laughs> there he is. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down! For I'm going to your house today. Hey, hey, I'm going to your house today. Hang me, oh, I just play another thing. Look at me go, look at me go. Oh, Zacchaeus was a wee little man. What a happy little man was he. Zacchaeus saw the Lord that day. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. And a happy little man was he. <laughs> yes, a 
chubby little man was he? Have any of you heard that song before? I actually grew up going to church and we sang this song. It's kind of catchy, right? Zacchaeus just wanted to listen and see Jesus talk. And he got to do that and closer than he thought he would get to. You want to know something that's crazy cool? Jesus knew Zacchaeus' name. He knew it without having to ask. How did Jesus know Zacchaeus' name? Jesus had never met Zacchaeus before. Zacchaeus isn't mentioned in the Bible, in any other story, but Jesus knew him. Jesus called out his name, and Jesus asked if he could come over to Zacchaeus' house. The people were confused. What was Jesus doing hanging out with a man like Zacchaeus? Jesus had gone to be a guest of a sinner. The people couldn't understand why Jesus would invite himself to this tax collector's house. Everything in Zacchaeus' house was most likely bought with the money he took from the people, the decorations, the furniture, even the food. But along the way, maybe even when Jesus called out his name, something in Zacchaeus changed. While Jesus was there at his house, Zacchaeus stood up. He said, look, Lord, here and now, I give half of what I own to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took. Luke 19, 8. Did you hear that? Zacchaeus decided to give half of his money to people in poverty. And he promised to pay back what he had stolen from the people. In fact, if he had stolen from someone, he promised that he would give them back four times as much. That means if he stole $10 from someone, they got $40 back. Amazing. Because of Jesus' love and forgiveness, Zacchaeus was a completely changed man. He chose to make things right with the people he had treated badly. Listen to what Jesus then said to Zacchaeus. Today, salvation has come to your house. You are a member of Abraham's family line. The Son of Man came to look for the lost and save them. Zacchaeus' life was changed forever because of Jesus. Zacchaeus was no longer an outcast. Jesus had shown him love, even though he had done wrong things in the past. And Zacchaeus had such a huge change of heart from being forgiven that he chose to give back what he had taken from the other people. It's pretty amazing how much Zacchaeus changed because of Jesus. It was like he was a whole new person. Zacchaeus chose to give his money away. No one had to tell him to do it because Jesus forgave him. He freely fixed what he had done wrong. Remember, when you forgive others, it can change them. I know it changes me when I remember how God has forgiven me. When you ask God to forgive you, it sets you free from carrying things like guilt and fear. It lets you breathe a little bit easier. <laughs> it helps you love others because you've experienced God love and forgiveness for yourself. That's also true in other relationships with other people. Think about how good it feels when someone chooses to forgive you instead of getting even. That's what we can do for other people. We can give them the gift of forgiveness. We can choose to treat others the way we want to be treated. You never know how God might use your forgiveness to change someone's life for the better. It's like we read in our memory verse for this month, Colossians 3.13. Make allowances for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. I can think of a few times when I needed to ask for forgiveness. Okay, so I was telling my story about my sister and I earlier. Well, we pushed and shoved each other, trying to get to the front seat. And once we got there, I shoved my sister Sammy so hard that she fell and scraped her knee. My mom happened to come outside right at that time, and both of us ended up sitting in the back. It took me a few minutes, but I apologized to my sister and asked her to forgive me. Normally, when we argue and realize that we did something wrong, we would hug each other and ask for forgiveness. When we would eventually forgive each other, it would always feel better to be on good terms with her. My sister and I now are really good friends and actually hang out a lot. Just because we fought when we were younger doesn't mean that we can't be friends now. 
You know, Jesus' forgiveness certainly changed Zacchaeus. Forgiveness can do the same for the rest of us too. Now, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your forgiveness. God, I pray that we would be able to forgive those around us. And in your name we pray, amen. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to check out our other fun videos. And also, don't forget that we have church for you and your whole family on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings. Well, I'll see you guys next time.